guys. So I am going to do a little like, I guess, indie makeup review video. I'm going to be talking today about Storybook Cosmetics. And I've had this palette for about a year now. I got it from one of my really good friends, Kevin. The Storybook Cosmetics has a like a subscription. I think it's every other month they have like a makeup subscription box. But they like come in these little packets. And I think the next one is coming sometime this month. So I got this one in January. And this is Little Women. And I'm so excited because I love these like little book things that they have going. Like this one also, let me open it for you. This one also looks like a book. Or was that upside down? Yeah. So this one also looks like a book and I love it because then I can have like a whole bookshelf full of these like little things. And yeah, so I'm going to talk about them. I think they're a really great company. I, they're still like kind of indie company but I think they're in um, Ulta now or some of their palettes are in Ulta now they're so great so creative yeah you should definitely go check them out so this is the wizardy and witchcraft witchcraft so this one is their wizardy one and these are the colors and the palette and it comes with this really huge mirror but I think it's a little bit distracting for the video. So these colors, I've used pretty much all of them. The quality is really good. It's, it's really good. The color payoff is really good. It's, you know what? They're just, they're just a really good company. I think they're run by three sisters and I think that they're triplets, but so creative and I really love it and I cannot wait to see what else they come out with. So this is the Little Women palette and this one comes with, I don't know if they're all going to come with the same things. I don't know if they're all going to come with these three shadows and a lipstick. I think the next one is going to be Sherlock Holmes. So I'm really interested to see what comes. Oh, you know what? They have like a little thing on the back that talks about them. So let's see. Once upon a time, there were three sisters who never stopped believing in fairy tales and they all lived happily ever after. That's super cute. So yeah, it's three sisters and I'm pretty sure they're tri triplets. So this one comes with a lip gloss and then three colors. So the lip gloss is called Joe. Uh, the first, this like kind of green color is called Meg. And then Beth is the brown color and then Amy is this sparkly color. So I'm actually going to use this palette today to do my eye makeup. I am just going to get started and this is kind of going to be like a little review slash tutorial I guess using this palette. And you should definitely sign up for their subscription because I mean how cool is this idea? I have lots of makeup subscriptions but this one is the coolest one to me. All right, so I'm gonna get started and I'll probably switch over to voiceover, so. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with Beth and I'm just going to use a really small crease brush and just like get this up in my crease. I'm building it slowly because I don't want it to be too dark. So just a little bit at a time does the trick and just keep blending and blending and blending until you don't feel like you can blend anymore. That is the trick to getting a nice crease. And then pretty soon I'm going to take this big fluffy brush and I'm going to take that same exact color and just go like, you know, the whole rest of my top lid just to kind of make it even and, you know, blend in a little bit more because blending is the name of the game. And yeah, I guess that's it going on. So I am taking, which color is this again? Amy. So I am taking the color Amy and I'm just taking this on a really flat brush and I'm trying to pat it down because I had so much fallout with this color. I will say like this color had so much fallout. Like it's crazy. Look at all that. But it's really easy to fix. I'm just taking a really big fluffy brush, a fan brush, and I'm just flicking it off and it doesn't leave any residue in, like on my makeup 
and I'm going to line my whole lid with this waterproof black liner. This is just a cold pencil. I think this is from Urban Decay. Yep. And then I'm going to use liquid and then making a cat eye, you know, like a simple winged liner. And I'm filling that in. So I have to, this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper. And you see, I put down that uh, cold pencil first because this color is not exactly super super black so I feel like I have to put down a foundation before I can put some of this color on top and just filling in that line and now I'm going to take this 24 hour from Urban Decay this is just a green shade I don't know what it's called and I'm waterlining my eye and then I'm taking oh shoot I should have had this on hand I'm taking Meg and I'm just using that underneath my eye, like, you know, my lower lash line. This color took a lot to build up, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm just putting on some mascara. I mean, it's just like a normal part of the process. I didn't put on any lashes, normally I do. And I'm going to use my, the lipstick that comes with it, the Joe lipstick. This color is unbelievably beautiful. Like, it's so pretty that I can't like, oh my gosh, it makes me cry. Like it's so nice. I absolutely loved it. I loved the brush. I loved everything about it. It dried down really nice and that's it. So here is the final look. Yeah, I really wish that that green was more pigmented, but whatever, I still think it looks pretty. Okay, so I realized when I was doing my makeup that I haven't talked very much about the packaging because as I was going through this, the packaging is so detailed and so clever I just I have to talk about it because I'm like obsessed so first of all I really really love the filigree here and I love the um, detail like I mean they just look they just look so beautiful I really love the back how it has like their little story and then when you open it up I really love the inside liner and then what really got me is this the cap on this lipstick is so stunning and I didn't realize it until I actually took it out of the package and it is so beautiful it's like a really beautiful pearlescent and I like this color this, this cap color is just stunning I kind of like want to make my whole house this color it's so pretty so it's just the packaging is very very clever very detailed and super beautiful I want to talk about the quality of the makeup itself so I I've used the wizardry and witchcraft palette before I haven't had any problems with any of the shadows except for some like maybe some minor fallout but nothing really that bad I did have more fallout with this Amy color than I have with anything else, but the rest of the colors were great. I wish that this Meg was a little bit more... <sighs> I think it's buildable, but I wish it had a little more oomph when you first put it on. But this lipstick is fantastic. I thought it was a gloss. It's not a gloss. It's actually a matte. It's a liquid matte lipstick, and it's not sticky. It's a touch drying, but not to the point where it bothers me. It's super creamy. I really, really like the applicator a lot. I, I found that it was easy to like put on. And it's super opaque, so you really only need one layer and it's not patchy at all. So the liquid lipstick is fantastic. And yeah, so this that's my whole uh, review. My only, okay. I will say, while I love this, I wish it was a little bit slimmer. Just like, I love the aesthetic, I love everything, I just feel like there's a lot going on here, and I don't think it needs to be quite this thick, I think it could be just a touch thinner, and then it'll be easier to like carry around. I mean, it's a cute, it's a cute book, it really does look and feel like a book, like when it's sitting on like your bookcase it it really does but I think it's just a touch
thick. So I wish it was a little bit thinner because there's nothing inside. Like you can't like lift it up. At least I don't think so. No, you can't like lift it up and put anything inside. So I, it, it's just a waste of space it feels like to have it this thick. I think it'd be just fine if it was a touch thinner. But so that's my, that's my opinions. Again, I really love the company. If you really want a great, unique subscription box experience, sign up because this is fantastic. I'm really excited for Sherlock Holmes and I cannot wait to see what they do in the future. So yeah, that is my whole review slash tutorial on uh, Storybook Cosmetics. All right, have a great day, you guys. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, I have a couple other social medias, but my main one is Instagram. I'm at Pin Up and Fantasies. The rest you can find linked down below. And I love you guys, and bye.